Hello and welcome to this FBF Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 3. I am joined this week by Natalie. Hello. And no one else. <laughs> and everyone else is dead. Ollie has left us for climbs of nicer weather or something. No, not really. But there is swimming. Ollie has left us to swim with people. Sounds like dolphins, which would be much better than people. I think because like people noticed. have a lifelong dream of swimming with dolphins, you don't really have a lifelong dream to swim with people. Yay! I'm swimming with people. Yeah, it's or like every other time that, at the swimming yeah, I was pool. Say, you reach your goal really quickly, so maybe it is better to aspire to swim with people. It's easier to aspire. Yeah, and it's cheaper. Yeah, you, you just go down the local swimming yeah, pool. Yeah, and you don't have to go like, abroad. You don't have to get any specialist that, gear. That's assuming like, you live in England, because we don't have like dolphins that you can swim with, really. I mean, we might do, I don't know. Up north they have dolphins, don't they? Uh, yeah, around Scotland, I think. But you wouldn't really dolphins. want to swim there, it'd be like, really cold. Yeah, it wouldn't be pleasant. This is probably the worst like sneaking into a camp ever, John. I'm going to be honest. Sneaking? Is that what I would do it? Well, I would assume you would probably try and sneak in. I think that was one of my objectives. Maybe use the sword, it's all about heavy load. Trying to limit regular kills. Oh. Well. Does that allow me to do unarmed? Yes. Pretty sure that would still kill him. He just like snapped his neck. The guy's getting a. Oh no, he put it away. Ow. Let me borrow this for a second. Whoa! Oh yeah, just as I kill everybody else around. Well, I'll get your weapon gun now. Ow! No sword for you, Pitcairn. Stop picking up the sword. Where did you pick that sword up from? It's got magic. No, he picked that one up. I saw it on the floor. Thank you! Nearly there. Just push him off the edge. If that's an edge. Whee! So much more. You fall down now. Oh yeah. Now we talk to him. He's gonna tell us how right he was to do everything. Mine. We're gonna say no, you're not. Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to follow it. And you were writing it on cannonballs and firing it at us. Explain. Just like Lady Zerolla. <laughs> you only wish to speak do, yeah. with cannons. Well, sing in that case. We only wish to sing a lot. Every line. There were some lines of speaking. Yeah, there was that one where they were like, Hi! And Cosette! Snipers? They didn't sing that bit, did they? Snipers! Snipers on the roof! Yeah, they probably did. They probably, yeah, probably put did. into a song somehow. Oh yeah, he's blaming us for the war. Oh, give it 
getting rest. Oh, it's quite happily living in Indian, like Red Indian land, is that right? Well, Native American. Native American land. Um, don't know what his village is at. I don't know if his village actually has a name. Yeah. Too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Tories? I don't think it's Tories like I don't think it's the same Tories. Different Tories. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This was on Pitcairn's body. It's the next point of plot. Oh. He had a plot point. This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. Why can that not be right? Dun dun dun. He's a president. I'm pretty sure there's always somebody trying to assassinate him somewhere. Or is it because they shouldn't be like killing? Him? I I think it's mostly that they don't want him dead. Who the Americans? The American loyalists are sort of rallying behind him at the moment. I see. Or the American rebels, or whatever we are. You're not Our American. side. Oh, you are American. I was thinking Hayden, so uh, he's, go he's gone. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land yeah. into something cold yep. and ordered. And now, whenever I kill things, he says, John's done this! He's much <laughs> better than you! But his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. Well, you know, I am, so... <laughs> Even though I completed it, but I deleted the, the, the save when I got more. And now, because I've started again, it's like, oh, John's killed a million bats, you've only killed 50. Well, I've got the game still, I can come and help you if you want. No, I want to be, so it's like, John sucks, well done, man. <laughs> I think it still comes up on mine that you've, uh... There's one of them that your character profile on my... Xbox has got higher than me. I can't remember which of the stats it is. On Fable 3's, on my Xbox when you were playing it around here. I can't remember which of the stats it is. I think it's group sex that yours is higher than mine. I don't think it is. There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to. No, it's not, because I didn't even know how to work that one. Something then. Your struggle is the colonist struggle. It might be most like partners. Possibly. But I don't think it's that one. Because I remember thinking, how does that even work? Do you just like lead loads of people into yeah, a room yeah, I think or something? We were trying to, how <laughs> this Yeah. I still do but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. This time, when I went back, I didn't save the villagers, I saved the Elliot. But it would be a girl for yours, obviously. Whoever the, your friend is. Yeah. Because last time I saved the villagers and then I couldn't find somebody I wanted to marry. So I was like, well, if I save... I should save my Elliot. partner. Yeah. I ended up marrying a bartender in the first go. I was like, a queen should not be really be marrying a bartender, but he's the only one that looks different or, like, <laughs> half decent. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Sure, please, you've killed two men, one more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I would gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. You appear to have made tea while we were arguing. Yeah. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the commander-in-chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Who is this guy? Thomas. And I Another of the, uh... How? 
Well, I think his father was an assassin and his nose out. He knows yeah. about the. He knows out. He knows things. And we're off to New York. Uh, where's. There it is. So we're going to do some fast travelling. Whee! Oh, this way. Why doesn't it just take you into the loading screen? I don't the know. Here? That would be sensible. Maybe it's because if you did actually want to go to the frontier. But then couldn't you click another point that would be like, you're in the middle of the frontier. Yeah. Johnstown. Yep. And we have a horse now. There's, there it is. Have you just got like wired? No, I think we can fast travel again. Yep. Even though you haven't like found this location yet. Nope. That's ridiculous. Yep. Games are getting so easy nowadays. <laughs> Usually it's like you have to find it first before you can fast travel. New what York, game is that? Is that like Skyrim and stuff like that? Skyrim does that. Yeah. Uh, Fallout, I'm assuming. Fallout does that. Assassin's Creed 1 did that. You had to go to a place first. Yeah. Before you could fast travel to it. And I think 2 did the same. Then 3 and... Uh, uh, Revelations and... Brotherhood had that you had to find and renovate the fast oh, travel Oh, the little... Spots. Yeah. That made sense, though. New York... Do you reckon the Empire State Building's built yet? <laughs> Not yet. You're, you're still about a hundred and two hundred odd years early. I think that, have I got to be honest. I don't like your horse. It's got spots. Yeah, but its heads are different colours to the rest of it. It's like the horse of multicolours. It is. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Why not join the Brotherhood then? My father yeah, there we go. His dad was in a sense. Quite good at his job too, as I understand it. But I don't get children. So did he? Oh, they live in two worlds at the same time. Oh, well. Sorry. They may have had children Sorry. too, but you've just run them over. That's why we're here now. Sorry, we're coming through. This is this is a very annoying mission if I remember it correctly. Why? Because one of the optional objectives is to not push anybody. Uh and you'll see why that's really annoying when we get to the mission. That guy just jumped into the floor. You see that? No, I didn't. I one of the guys in down. the distance just went whoop whoop. That's where the lift is, that's why. <laughs> he just like popped into the ground and all of a sudden went, Wait, I'm not on the ground anymore. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation. They used to have the whole, like, you could walk on your horse thing and people moved out the way. Do you know where yeah. Not so much anymore. They will avoid walking in front of your horse if you're just walking along. But not always quickly enough. Yeah. It does look like the horse has been like dipped, dipped in, in chocolate. Something. I was going to go with mud, but uh, chocolate works. Mine was more yummy. Hard to imagine them finding a giant vat of chocolate in the middle of the out of the frontier. I'm sure they had chocolate. Not that like giant vats laying around the middle of the countryside. You're in a town. There's got to be chocolate in New York. Melt it down and smelt her. Then Get spill it over in. the front of your horse and... There are rumours of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. He's distributing phony money. <gasps> no, perish the fool. What do you want to do? This isn't money. It's coloured paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God! Why are you buying money off of them? Oh, is he trying to buy goods? He's trying to buy goods with his. I thought he was trying to sell money. the money, and I was like, well, who would buy money off of somebody? 
That's not how money works. You don't buy money with money. Hi, what you guys talking about? Quickly get in the get in the sec there we go. Hey guys. What are you guys chatting about? No, I don't have a machete. I better catch no see if there he is. Watch out, he's looking, he's looking. Get on the corner. Ah, uh, tailing missions. Don't you love them? Yeah. This must be like the most paranoid guy ever though. Who literally turns around that much? Counterfeiter. There's some group of people. Let's go see what these guys are saying so that we can... Oh, he's getting mugged. That's interesting. They're going to steal fake money from him. You're actually, like, talking. Is he... He's coming back this way. Should that not have happened? I don't know. Hi guys, I was having a chat with. It was nice of you not to react at all to my presence. Maybe that was meant to happen. Well. Okay, I can see you blatantly looking around <laughs> the corner. So I don't know how he cannot. Clearly I am very stealthy. I mean, you're kind of the colour of the fence, but... Don't mind me, I'm just a fence post. I'm in the bushes. There's some stairs. I want to go find out where they go. Ah! Maybe we'll find out where they go. Go up the stairs, go up the stairs, quick, 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 quick. Oh, shit. Trying to buy things. Um. This don't have time for this. We're going to catch the guards. Get off the roof. He's looking at this way. Isn't he? Yeah, no time. Go. Not, no, not that the wall. Way. Silly Connor. Stop, 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 stop. Well, now he's jumped down a well. Oh, there's a guard oh, coming. You're not in any trouble, are you? So it shouldn't matter. Bye, guys. You should have been like, hey, there's a cat filler over there. No, because I want to find out where they going. There's no cover here. Be careful.
shortest leap of faith ever. <laughs> He's going upstairs, he's gonna look at you. Oh no, he's not. No, he's okay, not. I think you're back. We're fine. He's a hay cart. He's in the area. Not hearing anything. Um. What? Why are they? How's he seeing me? With his eyes, John. With his eyes. and be interesting for audio. Okay. Let's try and do this first time, I say. Climbing onto the wrong thing. Ah, oh, shit. for the more stay with the crowds mobile eavesdrop. That the crowds aren't staying with the mobile? Does it matter if you... Oh, shit. If you walk right up to them and tap them on the shoulder, probably they will uh, notice you. Hey, I did it, though. I didn't actually hear anything, though. No. That was weird. I don't know. It's done. That's all that matters. <laughs> Subtle corner. So I did all that stealthy eavesdropping for bugger all. Might be. What's it to you? Oh, ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. I suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Yeah. We'll see you next time for more Assassin's Creed 3. Bye guys.